Rostec, a state-owned corporation, is focused on quickly growing domestic aircraft manufacturing. It aims to completely replace critical foreign components in passenger aircraft. One key project is the modernized Russian passenger plane, the Tu-214. This aircraft will enter mass production using only domestic components in the next few years. Sergei Chemizov, the CEO of Rostec, plans to ramp up Tu-214 production to 20 units annually by 2028 or 2029. Successful test flights and confirmed government orders are backing this bold plan. It signals a new phase in Russia's efforts toward import substitution in aviation. The Kazan aircraft plant, which manufactures the Tu-214, has been completely upgraded in the last three years. Today, it operates as a high-tech facility with cutting-edge equipment and new production lines. These upgrades have helped integrate domestic technologies and steadily phase out foreign components. In February 2025, Industry and Trade Minister Anton Alikhanov announced that the first serial 2214 with fully domestic parts would be released. Deliveries to customers are expected to begin within the year. In March, the ministry confirmed an order for 30 such aircraft. However, by August, only 11 firm orders had been received. A major achievement was the creation of a Tu-214 prototype fitted with completely domestic onboard systems. This aircraft, number 509, completed about 60 test flights during certification trials. It served as a flying laboratory. Chief designer Stanislav Baranov explained that the full test program includes 70 flights. Once finished, all data will be submitted to aviation authorities for final approval. This will allow the new systems to move into full-scale production. The aircraft's radar system was fully replaced with a domestic version, ensuring independence for this critical sensor. The Traffic Collision Avoidance System, or TCAS, was also swapped for a Russian-made alternative. This improved air safety by using fully controlled technologies. The Ground Proximity Warning System was also developed locally. It plays a key role in preventing accidents involving controlled flight into terrain. Radios and other communication systems were similarly replaced with domestic versions. Tests show that these new systems are highly reliable and in some cases even outperform their foreign counterparts. Tupolev JSC's flight department, led by chief test pilot Oleg Petunin, carried out an intense testing schedule. The aircraft flew multiple times a day, even on weekends, to meet tight certification deadlines. Oleg Petunin explained that the Tu-214 import substitution program demanded rapid testing. The entire flight and engineering team had to work extremely hard, he said. Flights were nearly daily, sometimes twice a day, including weekends and holidays. But in the end, we succeeded. The systems worked flawlessly, with only minor issues that were quickly resolved. This fast-paced process helped shorten the path from testing to full-scale production. Oleg added that the new domestic systems are just as good as foreign ones, and in some ways, even better. Testing began on November 24th. A large volume was done and short deadlines were set. So in principle, all the engineering and technical staff and the flight staff had to work very hard. They perform flights almost every day. Otherwise, there were even two flights a day. Saturday is Sunday, including holidays, but nevertheless, the result is evident. The result was successful, but I would like to say more. So why was TU-214 chosen to import to replace the program? Because, and first of all, this car has proven itself for more than one decade. It also flew and the base is not very good, which means it is the strongest car. I think the passengers do too. Compared to analogs where the curtain struggles, it means that the machines are lost in strength. This machine is very strong. 
not empty words, believe me, it has been tested in different modes and for strength. We flew, repeated all these things under the import substitution program. New equipment has been installed there. This means from the first day of the flight from November with this equipment. So what is called the car was immediately clear that it would go. In principle, everything worked, of course, not without comments, but nevertheless, all those things that were introduced under the import substitution program of this system and equipment, the element base of some systems, everything worked as it should. Work continues to boost the Tu-214's performance. Engineers are working to reduce the aircraft's empty weight to improve fuel efficiency and reliability. There is also a push to shift to a two-pilot cockpit, which will lower operating costs and improve performance. In short, the first delivery of 11 2 2 and 14 aircraft with fully domestic systems is set for 2025. This will be a major step forward in industrial adoption of Russian-made technologies. Annual production is expected to grow to 20 aircraft by 2028 or 2029. This increase reflects Russia's strategic focus and deep commitment to industrial transformation. Final certification of the aircraft is currently underway. More than 60 test flights have already been completed. These upgrades will help keep the Tu-214 competitive by speeding up production and modernizing the factory. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.